Okay, so for some reason, and I don't entirely know why, so frustrating, I have episodes 1 and 3 that just got uploaded. However, my episode 2, which showed a lot of the progress on how I developed the car shape and how it was built, even had my son Zachary and Haley working on it with me, for some reason... It's just gone. It's gone off of YouTube. Just, I don't know what happened. So, luckily, I have a few short clips of the day. Not as much as in detail. Nowhere near the production of what I wanted the video to be. Because it ended up being like 18 minutes long. Which I realize is probably too long. Um, but for some reason, it's just gone. So... I'm making this short video, I'm going to show you how I templated the sides on the cardboard, even some more thoughts that I had, and then I'm going to show you the end of the day progress. That way you're not completely lost when you get to episode 3 on how I even got to that point. So with that being said, let's roll some clips. all put together and I didn't even realize but one of the really nice things about making the sides out of the corrugated cardboard is I'm able to actually roll along the corrugation to follow the natural body lines of the DeLorean see so there's the DeLorean template which is completely flat now if you've seen any cars minus the newer style cars like the Scions where they're just literally a box the DeLorean actually does have some curvature to the side of the body frame. So I'm going to set this down here and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So here looking straight down the profile, so here's the here's the side of the car. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Here's the natural corrugation of the cardboard. So I can actually take and roll this to match the shape of what I want it to be when it's all said and done. I think that'll really help. It'll It won't cheapen the look. Otherwise, it'll just look like it's kind of thrown together. It looks like it's made out of cardboard. We don't want it to look like it's made out of cardboard. We want it to look like a flying DeLorean. All right, so I've had a pretty productive day. I got pretty far on a lot of the things that I wanted to get done. Um, just to kind of give you an overview, here is the car. It doesn't really look like much now that I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. But we are certainly, certainly coming along. Um, I really wish you guys could see it in person. It looks so much cooler in person. It really does. Um, but we do have the booster, the thrusters, on the back here. They're not quite ready yet. I'm still tinkering around with a couple different ideas on how to finish them up uh, and get those painted. However, my wife did step in and help me come up with this great, great idea. This is actually an old cone filter off of my car. And this right here is just a funnel that you would use to fill oil in your car and then this is just a cardboard roll that actually I got from the vinyl rolls that I used on my car and this is probably one of my favorite parts so far it's Mr. Fusion I love it it's fantastic Mr. Fusion just sitting right there look at that so obviously we're gonna go through we're gonna get the details of Mr. Fusion written on here and all that other fun stuff but I'm gonna set him aside so that's where we're sitting at right now. Uh, I'm gonna get some more work done tomorrow on this thing, but for tonight, I gotta cross off a day. We're done for today. Where's my marker? For today, I've gotta call it quits. 
I've got some other obligations I've got to get done, whether it be kids' bath times, talking to men, getting ready to go to bed. I've got to get some other stuff done. So, today, done. Not much time left. As it sits right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days till D Day, seven working days to get the DeLorean time machine up and running. So, that being said, that's all we got going for now. I'm going to get some more work done on that, and as I come up with new things and things that go onto the car, onto the project, I'll keep you posted, and hopefully we can get this thing done on time and make it look awesome as ever. See you on the next one. Yeah, so I have no idea what happened. So I just sort of threw this one together because I managed to not delete a couple of things. Hopefully it kind of illustrates a little bit of where I'm at and how I got there. And hopefully you're not completely left confused and blown away. So I'm going to try not to let that happen again. I don't know what I did wrong. So hopefully it doesn't happen again because that is super frustrating. YouTube. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll get some more work done tonight, and we'll see how much further we can get. Until tonight.